Hi, everyone, and welcome to a new broadcast of Larissa Gabi Show. I hope you are doing well. I'm doing very well. And tonight I have a special guest. She's here with us. I met her at the Global Beauty Award this year in Seattle, Washington. Welcome, Queen. Thank you for having me. I remember your testimony, what you shared with us. It made me cry. That was so powerful. But to start with, I'm going to congratulate you for your new title. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. It's an honor to have this. It's a very unique title, and I can't wait to share it with you. Would you like to present yourself? Yes, I am Eileen Marie Safford. I am the reigning 2024 Ms. California USA Supreme. Welcome to my show. And uh, I'm looking forward to see you again. I guess you're coming back to the Global Beauty this year. Yes. And I got uh, my official about... nomination, so I'm I'm coming back. Awesome. I remember uh, how I know you, that we took some pictures together. It was an amazing experience. That was my very first time at the Global Beauty Hour. And then you share a tremendous story with us. And I was personally very moved. And then I said, wow. And uh, would you like to tell us about this story, a little bit about Okay, well, the Global Beauty Awards, if you're not a member, you need to be a member, first and foremost. And a video that was posted, uh, just a 30 second video of the nominees um, reached out and it reached out to, I guess, a lot of people because a gentleman on March 8th reached out to me and he happened to be my brother. Um, when we were split up, there was 11 of us. We were split up into different foster homes. Years later, I was told at the age of 12 that he was was dead. And so, you know, you go through that grieving process and everything. And when I got this message on Facebook, I, I you know, did my due diligence. I said, okay, here's a couple of questions. Here's my office number. Call me. And he did. And the minute I heard his voice, it was him. And let me tell you, the first phone call I made was to the Global Beauty Awards. Oh and I had to thank them. And, um, so we're making arrangements to, to get to see each other and oh. it's a slow process. Cause you know, we each have our pasts and stuff. So, um, but he is literally four and a half hours away from where I live. And so, uh, a simple video, a simple video that the global yeah. media awards posted, yes. um, the power of that just reached everywhere. And I had to share it when I won and you know, I wanted to thank a lot of different, you know, organizations that got me there and, and people, because we're never doing this on our own, well, but I had to highlight the Global Beauty Awards and their video department for that, because without that, I would never have known. Hi, um, I have to share this with y'all. On March 8th, my life changed because of a video that y'all posted. The GBAs posted the video of the nominees. I was nominated for Patriotic and I had my uniform on and I was nominated in this for foster care reform. I went through 42 foster homes before I aged out and then got adopted. And I got a call on March 8th at 10.30 in the morning. I think I'm your brother. And so I did some searching for these questions and I said, call this number. So he called my office heard his voice. I was told at the age of 12 that he died. And because of the video that y'all posted, I have my brother back. And I can't thank y'all enough. People say pageants are, you know, for the kids, you know, but I believe that we're put on this, this earth for a, a a purpose and my purpose is foster care reform because I don't want another kid or young adult going through what I went through and they gave me back the best gift which was my brother so thank you to the GBAs thank you for for enriching my life more than you know
April Simpkins is a mental health advocate speaking exactly so it was when you were 12 years old and now you was 53 can you imagine how many years have passed and you thought you didn't you couldn't see your brother yeah. again that he was yeah there. it's uh it's it i think for us uh mm -hmm. we picked up right where we left off which is i think a testament to our faith uh god gives us what we can handle and i think sometimes he tests us mm -hmm. just to see what we can handle and I think in that moment, he gave me what I needed. And I I knew that I was never going to be alone again. Um, and then we reached out to see if we could find more of our, our, our sisters and our brothers. And there's seven of us now that have found each other. Yeah. And so it's, it's, I have my family back. Yes. You know, this is amazing. I want to know, we just thank the Global Beauty Hour, I have to say something about it also, that I was really blessed and I knew I met you because of the Global Beauty Hour and uh, where my TV have gone now, I'm interviewing a lot of queens, uh, entrepreneurs that I met there. And I just want to thank the Global Beauty Hour team, the job they're doing, they're changing lives. Tell me how you all started with this pageantry and uh, I know you've been into military and um, yes, you joined the pageantry right after that. And tell us about how many titles you have you won and yes. Oh my, okay. Well, my pageant journey started when I was younger. I, I got into pageantry because I wanted to get self-confidence. And if you looked at me back then versus now, you would see the difference. Um, <laughs> I needed self-confidence because I, I let people tell me what to do, how to do it. And I thought, you know, okay, I'm going to get money to go to school because back then Miss America, you could get money and you didn't have to win at the higher levels and yeah. you can get money to go to school. And then the military came around. And so that was my calling. I knew that that's what I was going to do. So I did it. But I always had that in the back of my mind and in my heart that I wanted to do more and, and make it more about the organization or the, the the impact that I wanted to leave and not about me. And so I got into pageantry and I, I have to say, I've been in about 40, 40 pageants, um, some good, some not so good. Uh, some I've walked away from, uh, some I've stayed with and and have supported to this day. Um, last year, I think was my um, biggest rain ever. I uh, my second biggest rain ever, and I did eighty five plus appearances um, wow. with with that title. But my most favorite uh, title was being Ms. Armed Forces, yeah. and that to me represented everything that I stood for: service before self, and I mean that is is it it was all about service and that's one of our core values in the military and today now you know a different approach to pageantry after the pandemic um i i suffered a fractured uh c6 in my neck um uh, serving in the military and that's why i medically you know retired from the military I still work with the government but i don't wear my uniform anymore I kind of lost myself and I had to find what, who, who am I? And through that, we were looking for a system. My bestie and I, uh, tech Sergeant Brianna Calvert, uh, who's still serving, um, you know, her and I, we are lock stock. I mean, we are just together. I mean, her and I are just the besties of the world. Um, we wanted a system that promoted what we thought uh, a queen should promote. And we, came across this, this pageant, actually, she came across this pageant mm -hmm. and brought it to my attention. And I was like, wow, this looks pretty good. And it's all online. Have you ever heard of a system that is all online? Mm -hmm. Everything you do is online. Your application is your, your, and these questions are, whew, they get to you these three questions they ask and you have to answer them. And, and then that's 50%. The other 50% is leading by example and posting what you're doing. And it's leap leadership, 
empathy, ambition, and positivity. And those four things, I mean, I could have that tattooed on me. I mean, that is just, it spoke to us. And I I had to make a decision because I had given my word to another system. And, you know, when, when we want to, you know, make God laugh, we tell him, you know, our plans. Well, he told me his plan and his plan was for me to be in this system. And it has just brought me so much peace and so much joy because I don't have to worry about wardrobe. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about traveling anywhere to compete. I don't have to worry about hair and makeup, you know, none of that, the the expense of a hotel, none of it. It is all 100% online and what we post and what we share with our, our, you know, people out there and the USA Supreme pageant is to me, a gem that is going to explode. And I'm, I'm happy to represent California. And I have a sister queen down the, literally about an hour away. Um, she's a Mrs. And then I have the, uh, my bestie, uh, the Mrs. California. Um, so it's, I think there's four, four or five queens here just in this this remote area, and because I'm way north in California. So mm-hmm. with this title, I I plan on you know giving back to my community, which um, the videos I don't know if you've seen them, um, and practice what I preach, and that's yeah, what I will that. be doing. Yes, well, and then yeah. October of next year they pick the national queens, and so if I'm honored to win one of those titles, I, I'm going to be blessed. And if not, I'm still going to be blessed because I had a year of service. Yes. Awesome. You know, the you mentioned about what you posted. It's about supporting children. And tell us all about it. So Children's Hope Foster, I'm going to hold this up. So Children's Hope Foster Family Agency, it's yes. based here in Yuba City, Gridley, and in Roseville. And they're an agency that matches the child with the parent, the potential foster parent. Now, Mm -hmm. opposite of the state. So the state, you have a bed, you have a child, they marry it together. They take the time. They take the time to counsel the children, counsel the parents, the potential, you know, foster parents. You know, the Mm -hmm. motto that was way back in the 80s and 90s. Not everybody can be a foster parent, but everybody can help a foster kid. I grew up hearing that day after day. But what Children's Mm -hmm. Hope does is they foster it. Not only do they foster that for the children from zero to, mm-hmm. to 17, but when the children turn 18, the program oh. that we just did the other night was uh, the Tide and Towels. So I dropped off 30 cases of the, the the Tide Pods so that when they go to college, they, they'll have the bedding and the beds that they got last year. And now they'll have the the towels and the tide and the the hampers to you know take care of their clothes while they're in school and their program that they have um, that anyone can donate to um they can just go on to you know children's hope foster family agency.org and they can look and see what they can do and donate to them um this this helps them go to school this helps them get those first two years those those pivotal two years of college without the stress of the financing of of any of that so I'm so proud so so proud to represent and to talk about children's hope every single time I can I will always give back to them awesome amazing wow and um yes yeah I know that you have children yourself and your grandmother amazing and you're so so uh, yeah my daughter lives in Utah um, I was stationed there for 15 years. She grew, she loved it. They literally grew up there because um, we moved back from Insulik, Turkey when we lived there. And so Utah's where she's grown up and she ended up staying there and she has a house and two kids now. And uh, my son uh, got out of the military. He was in the army and he now um, is in uh, entrepreneur retail So he's here with me. And so it's, it's nice. You know, we send our kids off and then sometimes they come back, but, um, and then my two grandbabies, uh, Xavier and Aislinn. Oh, my, my heart. They are, they are just a gem. Yes. I can imagine. Amazing. Amazing. And uh, yes, you're saying um, 
you've been involved in all that. Is there any other thing that you are doing beside that? What do you like to do in your other spare time? Well, I um I just got cleared um, to help out with Habitat for Humanity. Um, I want to team up with them with um, the Single Soldier Initiative Program. It's for first time homeowners that are, you know, uh, military, like homeless vets that um, need a place other than the street. And they have a program and I'm going to get involved with that this coming year. And um, I don't know too much about it yet because it's, it's, it's brand new, but yeah. I'm going to help out with them. They have a, um, a, a distribution center right across the bridge from where I live. And so I'm going to okay. go over there and help out in any way I can. And I think that's a key thing that you brought up is what we do with our time. And I think if you have an hour on a weekend, go to your local vet, go to your local animal shelter and just pet the animals you know, give of your time, go and see if the food pantry needs stuff, you know, donate what you can. Every time you volunteer your time, you are giving back in 10 times because that is something that they're, someone's going to need. And I think that if we instill that in our youth when they're younger and then as adults, I think that we, some spend too much time in front of a TV, too much time, you know, in a casino or too much time, you know, doing other things that are not productive. But if we do things that are productive and we give back to our community, wow, there's so much more out there to do. And Mm -hmm. that's what I love. I love getting out there and finding out what there is to do. Um, Like this, this upcoming holiday for Christmas, I'm going to be at the Goodwill. And who knew? I mean, I had no idea that they had a program. So I'm going to get to help out with them. Wow. That's awesome. And when you give, you get hundredfold. Yes. Oh, yes. And oh, some, yes. it's like sewing and ripping because if you, someone doesn't sew anything positive, they won't get it back. Any good action we do is never lost. And doing that, yes. learning how to do it, it's, it's amazing. As you said, teaching our children not to be more on the internet and those are value that this generation needs, actually. We all need it. Yes. yes this is amazing. And uh, yes, you are you are a queen and um, you're still going to, to hold your title till next year. And what would you like to say to women of your age who think that too old or maybe they can't, it's too late for them to fulfill Gosh. their dream? Okay, first off, I'm speaking to every woman out there, no matter your age, your size, the color of your skin, the gender ethnicity, it does not matter. If you want to be in a pageant, you be in a pageant. You find the one that speaks to your heart and you do it. I was over 200 pounds when I won my USA title, over 200 pounds. I didn't care. I had spent a year and a half in a wheelchair. I learned how to walk across that stage. That was winning for me. The crown was a bonus. You can do the same. Whatever you need. If you want to reach out to me, you reach out to me and I'll help you find a pageant. Fantastic. If you want a pageant that's low on budget, come to this one. I mean, (laughs) we're still looking for contestants. It doesn't matter your age. Age is a number. Age is a number. We put limitations on ourselves. Why should our age be a limitation? Why should our age dictate what we can do, how we do it, and what we can accomplish in this world and in our lifetime? Exactly. If you want to do a pageant, you do it and do and have fun. It's not about winning. It's about learning. If you win, that's a bonus, but we learn. We never lose. No. And and I try to tell that to everyone. You never lose at a a pageant. You learn. You learn. You learn. It's sisters. You have so much experiences. And I remember that when my friend kept on encouraging me to join, I was just like, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. But the moment I joined the pageantry, I've traveled from so many countries, met so many wonderful ladies, That's had so many friends, sister queens. In fact, I, I know what you're talking about is true. I've experienced it myself. It's amazing. Thank you so much. For what you oh, just said, you. and um, and thank you for being the person you are. 
I know that we are having planned to have more videos. I'm excited about it. And uh, you look so beautiful with your crown. Congratulations. Oh, thank and thank you so much for coming. Have a blessed day and see you next time. Love you, sister. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.